Hello, I'd like to introduce Plasson's metric slip repair fittings. Slip repair fittings are used with damaged pipe or where an installation might be quite tight or with coil pipe which might make installation quite tricky. So this is a standard Plasson 40mm metric coupler and this is a 40mm slip repair coupler from Plasson. You'll notice that the slip repair coupler is a little bit longer than the standard fitting and if you looked inside there's no end stop inside and that allows this coupler to slide freely along the pipe surface. So I'll show you how they're installed. So we've got some 40 millimeter pipe here, it's been damaged, it's got a cut in the middle of it um, and we have to repair it so it doesn't leak. So the first thing we're going to do is make a witness mark on the pipe so that we know that the damaged area is roughly halfway inside the coupler and we're then going to cut out the damaged part of the pipe. So I'm going to chamfer the end of the pipe and that just eases insertion and reduces the risk of catching the o-ring during insertion. So I'm going to take the fitting apart I'm going to insert the nut first then the grip ring and then the nut and the grip ring I've already used a little bit of silicon based lube on the o-rings just to ease insertion so this type of slip repair coupler is used with pipe from 20 millimeters up to 125 millimeters in diameter and we have a different design for 160 millimeter diameter pipe and with all Plasson fittings up to 32 millimeters in diameter, we do the nuts up hand tight. This is a 40 millimeter fitting, so we'll do the nuts up hand tight and then plus half a turn with a wrench. Like so. That was a slip repair coupler, and now we're going to look at slip repair tees. So Plasson make slip repair tees for pipe between 20 millimeter and 63 millimeter in diameter. And like the coupler, they are really good where the installation might be quite tricky. So in this case, we've got some 32 millimeter pipe and we want to branch off with 32 millimeter pipe. If we tried to do this with a standard T, it'd be very difficult. So in this situation, the slip repair T is perfect. So I'll show you how it works. The first thing we are going to do is to make a witness mark on the pipe. So we want to be branching off roughly halfway along this pipe. So we'll make marks here so we know where the fitting is going to be located make a mark in the center and then we we want to cut out about 30 millimeters of the pipe so that we get full flow from this to the branch and also to allow us to get the T into place so I'm going to cut out around this much here okay So I've chamfered both pipe ends and now I'm going to take the fitting apart. First of all I'm going to put the nuts on the pipe. I've already pre-lubed the uh, o-rings with a little silicon based lube just to ease insertion. Because this is a 32 millimeter fitting, I'm going to do the nuts up hand tight. Now I'm going to insert the branching pipe. So I'm going to undo this nut so I can see a few of the threads. I've already chamfered the end of this pipe just to ease insertion and prevent catching the o ring on the way in. Push it down, hits the end stop inside the fitting. Do the fitting up by hand, and that's it. So if you'd like to see these fittings, they're on our website, plasson.com.au. Thanks very much.